The last World Cup um, was in late May, uh, and we had Pan American Championships in June. But since late May, like the focus has really been on the Olympics and getting ready for the games. It's been the first span of. of large span of time really in almost a year that I've had without like a tournament you know every other weekend since May like my focus really has been the Olympics and Pan American Championships was a really good tournament to kind of serve as like a jumping off point for that um, and so it's been like a very focused training you're focusing on one thing you're doing a lot of video all of our lessons um, my lessons with Zoltan my coach have been like very very focused on this one thing like we um, recently found out the draw like we have two potential opponents so you're kind of tapering and focusing everything directly for that. What I saw in her from the very beginning is that she's so focused and so goal oriented and uh, I think uh, her biggest strength actually that uh, focus level what she can maintain for a very long period of time. I think a little piece of me is kind of always been like, oh, like the Olympics would be kind of cool. Um, and I played a bunch of sports when I was a kid and of course it was just kind of like every kid's like, yay, like the Olympics. Um, but when I was 15, I went, I made my first cadet, which is 17 and under world championship team. And I finished second at cadet world championships. And that was the first time that I was like, okay, maybe this is like a thing. Um, and then when I started looking at colleges, I thought that like taking time off to potentially make an Olympic team uh, would be a thing that I wanted to do. So when I was looking at schools, that was one thing I was strongly considering. I've been to Rio several times. We've had a World Cup there since before London. Um, there's been a World Cup there every year. I've been five times now. Um, I went once in high school and then I've been four times in the past four years um, and I was actually just there in April for the test event so we got to check out the Olympic venue um, and kind of see how things were progressing which was pretty cool. I think one of the most indicative things of working with Zoltan and being at Princeton came really from when I was um, being recruited and I was talking to several different coaches and when you sat down with the coaches you know they told you about their program they told you about their expectations they told them about the school but when I sat down with Zoltan it, it was different he presented Princeton as a place and not just Princeton uh, University but the Princeton fencing team as a place where you you come here and I'm gonna help you make your dreams come true like if you want to do something and you're willing to work for it then I'm gonna help you in every capacity that I can